So in the last two weeks, I've had some really, really cool experiences. Experiences a lot of guys would pretty much do anything for and I fish with some awesome, awesome people. I fish with Mikey Balls down in Florida. Kind of a dream trip. You fish with the OG of YouTube bass fishing down on his home waters down in Florida. You get to fish some iconic Florida fisheries, Lake Okeechobee, the Everglades. You get to experience all of Florida fishing. And I caught some big fish. Awesome, awesome trip. And then I was lucky enough to have Chris come up here last minute trip and fish with him. Always a fun time. He's a great dude. A lot of fun to fish with. John and Chris just came up with two day notice, kind of a last minute trip. Was able to get out on the water with them for an evening. And so I've been blessed with some really cool experiences over the last couple of weeks. Some experiences that I will never forget. But amidst all of that, there's been a trip that's been in the works for about 10 months now. And it's something that I've wanted to do for an extremely long time. This dude has become one of my best friends and he's an awesome dude with an awesome fishing channel who really has been an integral part of helping me progress my channel to where it is today. And what that is, you guys will see in just another minute here. But I'm super, super excited about the next six days. We're gonna be on Michigan water, fishing for Michigan fish, and hopefully catch some giant Michigan smallmouth. What's up, bro? How's it going? Like that. I'm gonna get all this in here. Man. How was your trip? It was good. The my first plane in Knoxville got struck by lightning and they had to do maintenance on it. What? Yeah. We are here at the ramp with this dude. The beard. The beard. Alex Rudd. Um, we are headed out to Lake Huron today. The wind is perfect. I'm super, 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 super excited. The way this all played out couldn't have been any better. So full moon was yesterday. Low winds. High sun. The weather's been pretty stable and warm, so what I'm hoping is that these fish are moving up onto these spawning flats, and we should be able to find them shallow. If that's the case, it's gonna be lipless crankbaits, jerk baits, swim baits, it's gonna be anything that you can throw in about six to 10 foot of water, maybe shallower if they're actually moving up onto beds. So we're hoping we can get on some fish, but for now, we are going to go out on the big water. I can't wait! Well, we are out here. We made it here safely and honestly The waves weren't that bad, you know little one-foot rollers, but nothing that the Phoenix can't handle So we are out here now fishing in about eight and a half foot of water um, Just over a big staging area before they goes into the spawning flat. So we're hoping to catch some fish We're throwing lipless crankbaits And hopefully we'll get bit here pretty pretty quickly This is the most amazing I've never I'm totally out of my element like I've never seen anything quite like this it's just it's crazy uh, I, get, I just got bit I, we're in seven foot of water and I'm just throwing randomly and I got bit I just didn't I don't know what to say this is what happens when the old southern boy comes up north so y'all make fun of me all you want to down in the comment section below and I'll be down there to try to defend. there's something like that oh oh, oh you oh there's two of them. So you cast right down to them. See them right there? Yeah. Dude, my heart is going 150 miles a minute right now. <sighs> Dude. I hope you catch the first one. Because I want to see your face when you see that big brown missile coming at you. <laughs> and I hope he jumps out nine times and makes you think he's going to throw that thing. You have to watch him come all the way back with one travel hook hanging out. And then you get to see me do the best net job I've ever done in my entire life. <laughs> and then we land him and he's a six. He's your biggest fish ever. Screaming, there'll be a lot of emotions. There'll be cuss words, there'll be probably hitting. dude. When it's flat calm, you can like see them like out there, but I mean, then they can also see you out there. This is like perfect chop. I mean, realistically, it is. Yeah, this is not. I mean, like, this is <laughs> like if you find something like this, like we're on a big rock vein right now where it comes up from six to four, 
drops off to six again, just put a bunch of waypoints all over that rock vein. And then once you find the school on the, like the spot on the spot, the school on the spot, you can then go back, put a marker on it and change your waypoint icon. Because that way you know the spot on the spot of the big area. It sounds stupid, but it'll make sense when you guys go out there and do it. See, here's how panoptics helps me. So I can see out in front of the boat and know that there's a rise and then a depression there. Huh. Yep. I'll call it right. Oh. Uh, oh. 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 Ready? Cue. There we go. Dude. First fish right. of your oh. Michigan trip. Oh. <laughs> oh. Good job, dude. Look at that. Smallmouth. Mmm, my first good smallmouth. 2017. Oh, dude, that's awesome. Throwing a little lipless crankbait. Shallow rock. And he thumped it. First quality fish of the trip with Alex. Of <laughs> the trip with Alex. Zeros. I bet she's three and a half. Oh yeah, three and a half, four. Three one. Huh? What? Here's where it gets hard and she's not. She's about three and a half. Three and a half. Still a dang good fish. Pretty, pretty Michigan fish. See how green she is? It does not get any better than that. There she goes. Tying on. Trusty, dusty. Chartreuse underspin. Hoping to catch one or two. This is a fucking mongo. This is a fucking mongo feeling. This might be the big smallmouth of my life. Oh my god, Ben. Oh my god, Ben, he's huge. <laughs> Did you see him yet? Yeah, dude, he's, hey. He's, he's, he's gone. He's strained the... Holy sh**. Holy... Look how he got that, too. Oh, my God, dude. Oh, my God. God, dude, that's a good one. High five, man. That's a really good point. So, Alex just made this point to me, and I'm going to tell my viewers. Alex can put it in his video, too. Hopefully, there's not too much wind. Um, but what happened was both of our fish came when we cast our baits into the wind. So I just spun around so that way you guys don't have the wind noise. But we cast our baits into the wind because unfortunately or fortunately that's the direction that those fish are moving. The spawning flat is that way so those fish are looking to move that way. And the wind has happened to be coming the other way which is blowing the plankton and the bait fish and everything else is coming the other way. So you bring your bait, you just bring your bait back with the direction of the current or the and water. It's naturally the way the bait fish are going to be moving. Yeah. Because the bait fish are strong enough to go against the current, so the smallmouth are going in the direction they want to go to spawn, and they're also going in the direction of the way the bait fish are going to be moving towards them. It's easy meal. They're lazy. Big fish don't get big by moving a lot. Yeah. So that is a wrap. We had a good day on the water. I caught one about three and a half. Alex caught one about four and a quarter, four and a half. So it was a good day. Uh, my fish came on a lipless crankbait. 
And yours came on? A Nichols Pulse Cider and Clint's Magic Crop. So we are getting out here early tomorrow morning. Early, early tomorrow morning. We're gonna stop at Frank's. We gotta pick up a few things and then we'll be out here chasing this big smallmouth. The wind looks amazing. So hopefully we can make it happen tomorrow morning. But if you guys haven't already, go over, subscribe to this dude's channel. I'll leave the link in the description below. I'll also make his face pop out right here for you guys to go click on. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below. And I hope to be coming to you soon with some giant smallmouth catching footage from both of us. Let's go break. Let's break all our goals. Let's Maybe we we'll catch a 30 pound bag tomorrow. But God, yeah. anyways, thank you guys for watching. As always, take care, tight lines, God bless. Pursue your passion.